Hello everyone, my name is Justice and I'm coming at you with another collective reading. This is going to be messages, concerns from your spirit guides and team. If you guys would like a personal reading, you can go to the link in the description. I do Akashic Records as well as regular tarot. Start off here with the Seven of Wands to the Ten of Wands. Two of the two of pentacles. So maybe you have two major purchases that are on your mind. And your important message from the spirit team and your spirit realm is that maybe something about the first investment is a little bit devilish. And you might want to avoid this. This could leave you outside in a financial uh, rut here. The five of pentacles coming out. So do be wise with your current investments and future plans when it comes to finances. You have the Five of Pentacles coming out again. You could currently find yourself homeless using public housing with the Five of Cups coming out here. Five Five could be a significant number for you as well as Valentine's Day. Could have been a very specific date here with the Chariot. Uh, my name is Justice. I am a 716 Cancer. I always like to say that when the chariot comes out. I'm an Akashic Records master and I've been reading the records for a long time. So I do hope you guys enjoy your Akashic Records reading from me to you, my beautiful soul team. So I'm gonna start this off with a pick. I'm gonna do three piles. Or however many piles wanna come out here, I'll do. Okay, so if you're pile number one, you're choosing the card work. If you're pile number two, you're choosing the pile of romance. If you're pile number three, you're choosing the pile of journey. And if you're pile number four, you're choosing the pile of intuition. Starting off with card number one being justice, background issue, recent past. So in your recent past here, you've been working with the justice system. You could have had a lot of court things to pay off, uh, court things going on here. I'm picking up a lot of energies where you could have found yourself uh, kind of shrouded with a lot of protective energy from spirit here. Uh, your ancestors are watching over you. You could have recently done like a ceremony. Um, picking up, you also like maybe went out for like tea. As a sign, this message is for you. With your company here. And this issue that's coming out here is like a lack of justice within your work scenario. I'm picking up that one of your colleagues, something about like the back. Maybe your office is in the back of uh, the place you're working at here. Uh, so maybe someone has a tattoo on their back or it feels like there's like a message written on your back every time you walk through your uh, uh, work environment. Uh, kind of like a kick me on your back. Uh, your present or current situation, you have the chief of shields. So this is you trying to stay in your tradition you know, you're trying to survive. You're trying to find uh, peace. Uh, maybe you work with a grimoire. You have future trends. You have four, pregnancy. So someone could be getting pregnant in your company. Maybe your boss has been on a leave as well. Or you are going to be taking a leave. Four, we have vision and quests. This is like a breath of fresh air. Uh, we're beginning to value and really question the meanings of life with deeper insight into the issue. Uh, you're finding you've 
notice these people have like five certain like suck thought patterns or beliefs. This being the fourth card it reminds me of like four of cups energy. Uh, and we do have here the energy it produces with eight being indolence. So this kind of like uh, this work environment, it's like you're at the top of your company, but you have someone like a man right next side you. And this person is coming through as like a chief of chaos type of energy where they are this person like mocking everyone. Uh, unfortunately, you won't find yourself sticking with this company. The wild card being sandpaper. Maybe you'd rather go write someone's name in the sand and go manifest a love opportunity instead of uh, pile number one. Uh, let's see. Anything you can expect if you do decide to leave and get a new job. Yeah, the scout. Maybe you've already set your prospects elsewhere. The medicine wheel in reverse. Noticing that there's just like uh, too much wishy-washy, unstable. The Knight of Shields in reverse. There's like a, I mean, the Warrior Shields being like a Knight of Shields. There's like a, no stability left in the company. There's no foundation. There's no structure. This is almost like a tower moment coming out here to the sun. And you have like good faith and good remembrance of like how much work you got put into like your company. Like how good that looks or like... Uh, how long you've stayed with certain jobs, things like this to look good when you go to a new job. It's like you have all these foundations already set. The craftsman in reverse, you just don't find any, uh, the counting coup coming out next. It's like you just don't find any stillness in this job. You don't find any relaxation. You are the type of person who prefers like a more steady environment. So when you decide to move on, you have this uh, high priestess energy with the core meeting coming out here where you're able to, you know, just manifest with intuition as like one of your main tools using all of that etheric ability to put yourself onto a new journey with work. So I'm going to leave that off here, pile number one. Thank you. I hope you enjoyed. And we will now be switching off to pile number two. with journey here. Oh, or pile number two was romance. Excuse me, it's pile number three. Sorry guys. Maybe pile number two and pile number three are gonna have a similar message coming out here. Start off here with Judgment Spirit Guide, number 20. Okay, so we start off with Spirit Guide. So your Spirit Guide is definitely coming out here, making sure that you know you are ready to venture out into new places within the physical realm. Uh, I'm hearing that you've been putting in a lot of spiritual work and you have all of this clarity coming in here. I was getting specifically a lot of third eye intuition work as well as crown chakra downloads with all this purple coming out. And this dream catcher here is also pretty significant. Uh, Spirit wants you to know that you're traveling with your, you see the uh, feathers here, the talons, uh, remember, just keep on flying with your flock. You know, they're also very significant about birds and horses. The chariot type of energy here. I'm um, just getting like this like breath of fresh air, this free spirited energy in the reading now. Where you're able to put things into order, put things into balance. To keep the cogs moving and stay in a fruitious energy with depletion coming out here. Maybe you've had this realization that uh, your resources needed to be depleted for you to get the breakthrough. You had to invest uh, properly to get to 
this big wheel moment where you're able to look down at a full project and be like, okay, I have X, Y, and Z maps out. I know all of these things, the eight of fire here. It's just, wow. <laughs> 10, 10 on the clock. Uh, this journey is going to be just extremely enlightening. You could have had a lot of uh, interference with getting to this point and hearing this message. Uh, even though you have had this like uh, undoubtful clarity and foresight with the shaman coming out of here, you do have a uh, ten of water. So maybe a fulfillment was reached, but with the father of earth energy here, it took you like uh, everything in your uh, repertoire. You know, took you every move, every skill, every belief, every prayer to get in the seat that you're driving in right now. And it looks pretty good to be you, dear collective. Your cosmic records are saying that, uh, you know, whether you pr practice like hermeticism or not, it's like your herbs, your harvest is going to be immaculate with the mag accumulation coming out here the nine of earth so yeah it's pile number two uh i wouldn't have any worries i would get excited i would start getting ready because you are just set to have a lot of fun we are now going to switch over to pile number three with romance We have here the full coming out. The beginning. The beginning. Someone could have like blue hair or like super light blue eyes with the world coming out here. Uh, straight to sinning. You guys could be going right out to have a drink, you know, go shopping. You guys are extremely intuitive. You guys know like uh, whatever yes or no is to each other's like akashic records you guys are very like familiar with each other's energies even more so a past life maybe three generational curses have been broken between the two of you meeting together and being together in this energy we have here multiple chapters of your life being open and being closed repeatedly uh through this person's energy they have this belief in like uh thought pattern with spirit that always rewinds back to you no matter how much they think about other people they go through other cycles it's like uh-uh it is dear collective dear collective is a person who put me in this four of swords energy who turned my brain off for the first time and showed me that uh things are moving fast in the spiritual realm and uh you both are very tuned in here very 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 heavy reassurance and wish fulfillment coming out here because you guys have been through the fight you've been through the journey you've gone through work as well you know you've gone through the whole deck with the fools to the worlds coming out right at the beginning of the reading and uh let's get anything unseen any help from the unseen forces helping this reading Ooh. okay King of Wands, they are in some big dick energy right now. To the King of Cups, it's like the way they're dressed off, like their avatar is whew, that Scorpio energy of the death. They are like ready to go to town with you, if you know what you're saying. And you are saying yes to this invitation. You are so ready. <laughs> You've been thinking about this for like a long little while now. Uh, your person has been upset that you haven't even thought about these things with them for so long. But uh, you could actually be the one bringing it, who got the idea to bring this up from the reading. And you'd like to start having sex again. So I'm picking out this is something you guys had left off with the strength to the Seven of Wands. To the Seven of Cups. <laughs> to the Ten of Wands, yeah. Like, too much masturbating or... Just too much like sexual friction going on in the bedroom is something that is going to be smoothed out here in this next cycle, which is a major thing I'm getting in your energy as a concern. 
Uh, I'm picking up one of you wants to know, like, what has he been masturbating to? Straight porn. For some of you, maybe, like, they've been dabbling in a little bit of, like, gay or bi porn. Straight porn. <laughs> Normal stuff. Butt stuff. <laughs> I have here the Queen of Cups, to the Ten of Swords, to the Ten of Wands, so ten ten coming out again. This is taking me back to earlier in the reading. I think I'm going to leave this off here for you, Pile of Romance. We'll move over to Intuition now, because you guys are just good. <laughs> so Intuition. Anything the Collective needs clarified. As they are working through this week, Spirit, February. I have here a great fortune coming out. Look at that, like I said, you and your partner. Or you and this friend who are in poverty are going to find each other looking really good here. Looking really good here. You guys could be getting married with courtship coming out here. Or there could be concern, like, will this happen? We have a tremendous expectation. I was so, this is what I was picking up. I was picking up that the feminine kind of, like, already had this disposition that they were going to say yes. There's something important about a Saturn placement with the way someone communicates. Someone can also be Spanish. Uh, but it's actually this man coming through with the concern that, uh, Maybe he doesn't think you guys are ready for, uh, what's it called? Courtship. But at the same time, there's also like, uh, maybe a mother figure involved who is, uh, casting down like heavy judgment on someone just for them being themselves too. It's like, they haven't done anything to warrant this adjudication coming out here. So if you've been getting like intuitive vibes, you haven't like fully approach someone or open up because of like their family members or like energy stuck around them do know you have done this and uh with some just thinking with the uh, main male coming out here i am picking up your divine masculine but yeah just expect some good things to keep coming forward and uh hope you guys enjoyed collective this has been justice take it easy